wine lovers, welcome to Wine on a Dime. I'm your special guest host, Uncle Sam, and I want you to drink on election day. So, I'm posting this, so, you know, a week before election day, so you have the weekend to go find my suggestions of a red, white, and a blue wine to help you get through election day night. <laughs> Should be a good time for America. Cheers to you, America. I'm going to eat this hot dog. Oh. <laughs> I try to eat it with a beard. I try. I try. The Great American Wine Company 2013 Red Blend. Now, this is our red pick in the red, white, and blue special. So we have a presidential candidate, the Republican one. I'm not sure if you heard of him. His name is Donald Trump, but his platform was Make America Great Again. So I thought this would be the perfect wine to represent Donald Trump in this show. <laughs> now I got this wine on clearance at Albertsons. A red wine clearance sale is every wine lover's dream. Uh, it was $8.03 and the retail they said was $14.99. But if you're a bargain hunter, like a true American, you can usually find this for around $10. So this wine is a blend of Zinfandel, Syrah, Petite Syrah, and Cabernet. The American grapes. The great American grapes. Minus Pinot Noir and Merlot. Oh well. This wine is 13.5 alcohol by volume. It has a nice purple tinge to it when you pour it out. Kind of a deep purple, probably from the Zin there. Let's give it on the nose here what we get. I can just smell my mustache. Mmm, on the nose it smells of blackberries. Mm, I get some plums, some strawberries maybe, raspberry, some very fruit forward smelling wine. Let's take a taste here. Let me get sure, make sure I got all my beard out of the way. Ooh. 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 You're hit pretty fierce with that fruit. It has some blackberries and raspberries on the tongue there and uh, it has some tobacco aftertaste Ooh. tastes like America <coughs> on the finish there you get a little vanilla probably from its oak aging hopefully they used American oak <laughs> Mm. This is a pretty traditional red wine blend. So, on election day, if you're looking to kind of keep it conservative, this might be the wine for you. As we find out who will be our next president in January. Mm. Cheers to America. Now for our white wine, I picked a nice Chardonnay from California to represent Democratic presidential nominee Hillary Clinton. Now, uh, if you look at this bottle here, there is a uh, naked woman grabbing onto a bike. This is Cycles 
Gladiator 2014 Chardonnay, and I picked it because I like the imagery of a strong, independent woman being a gladiator, because we may have our first Madam President ever in the history of the United States. Exciting times indeed. Um, I also picked this wine because it kind of had a uh, difficult past. Uh, they broke up with their winemaker and you know they're downgraded for some time and now you know they're back on their feet and they made up and they really persevered through those troubling times. So let's take a s s taste of this. There's a nice screw top here. Now this Chardonnay has been oaked in stainless steel, French oak, and New American oak, so it's really been put through the ringer. <laughs> this is 13.4% alcohol by volume. I got this on sale at Bevmo for $8.99. Retail was $12.99. Oh, pouring it in here. It has a nice deep straw color. It's not the lightest of lights, I would say. It looks a little full-bodied for a white wine. <laughs> Let's take a sniff here. Whoo! Hoo, hoo, hoo! Getting kind of a peachy pear. Maybe a little nectarine here. Some lemon on the nose. Definitely some lemon after that second sniff here. Hmm, I'm interesting to try this baby out. Let me get my beard out of the way so I don't, you know, drink through my beard. Hmm. It's kind of a strong lemon citrusy flavor. But there's a little butteriness in the t the uh, the uh, finish there. Mm. The interesting thing about this wine is you can kind of have there's like a hint of wood into it. Definitely taste the wood here, which um, is nice on this shard. It doesn't taste too bad. There's some spice to it. I would say the predominant tasting, you know, the flavors, definitely some, some lemon, peach, and pear there. Has a nice balance to it. Um, yeah. Mmm. Cheers to you, America. Gladiators. All right there, kiddos. Now, I know some of you may be sitting there on election day saying, I don't know! I don't want any one of these two folks that are our two-party candidates there. Maybe you want to cling on to the past. Maybe you're just like, ready to move to Canada. I don't know, but I got the wine for you. Our blue wine, which is... dun dun dun, dun Boone's Farm! Blue Hawaiian. This wine. It says it's the American original. This is a great wine if you're clinging on to the past and perhaps are just hoping to enjoy your last few months of President Obama. It kind of represents him in a way because it's blue Hawaiian and he's from Hawaii. Now I bought this wine for $3.99 at Gus's Liquor in Tucson, Arizona. I couldn't really find the blue one in a lot of chain stores, but I'm sure if you look at your local convenience store, you might see this bright blue beacon winking at you. Ha 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 ha. This isn't even really wine. It says it's flavored beer. A malt beverage with natural flavor. I'm guessing blue number one would be one of those natural flavors. This is 3% alcohol by volume, and it's really blue. Oh. Has a little bit of a carbonation to it. 
It's pours a little lighter blue than the cobalt that's in the bottle. That's nice. Mmm. On the nose, I get a strong scent of coconut, sunscreen, and bad decisions. Let's take a taste here. Ooh. I kind of lose a lot of the coconut in the tasting, and it's predominantly pineapple. Definitely tastes a lot like pineapple juice. But hey, now, I know that I'm recommending this wine for the most frustrated of our fans, and it has the lowest alcohol by volume, so I have a little bit of a suggestion to kick things up a notch here, because Uncle Sam is looking out for his people. I am going to top this baby off with some Bacardi Coconut Rum, because why not? Oh, I poured a lot in there. Eh. Equal parts Bacardi Coconut. Equal parts Boone's Farm. It's election day. YOLO. Now that's fantastic. Mmm. Just what you needed. You just combine these two here, right here. I think this says it's 35% alcohol by volume, and this is three. We're getting up there, that's like a combined 38. But it tastes a little boozy. Mm. Heck, why do you even need a glass with this thing? Let's just drink a few straight out of the bottle. Let's do this. Cheers to you, America! If you don't know what you're doing and you're kind of scared for this election, I suggest drinking these two together! Mmm! Tastes like patriotism. Thanks for watching this special edition and letting me be your host of Wine on a Dime. Now Uncle Sam wants you to drink this election day. Mmm. Ah. <laughs> oh yeah, and vote too. That's important. Vote! Vote and drink. Well, vote first and then drink. We'll see you next time on Wine on a Dime! Mmm. <laughs> this is really good.